how far are we into the show? I can't believe we have not yet mentioned a new American legend who was minted today. Yeah. I don't know how familiar everyone out there was with Stephen Nedorozik before today, but the U.S. men's gymnastics pommel horse specialist had his Olympic moment. Were you watching this? Because this was incredible. I, I, I watched this whole thing. Yes, it was. Amazing. Okay. He is. So to set the scene. So today was the uh, men's team final. And uh, the U.S. had, I think, had not medaled since 2008. Um, it's been a while. And, and of course, we know the U.S. women's gymnastics team is so good. And the men's team, uh, they win medals, but uh, individual medals, but not as, not as frequently. And it's, you know, it's a big story when they do. Um, and so they basically, they've, they've got a team and they've got people on different apparatuses and um, they've got this guy, Steven Nedorozic, where the pommel horse is his only event. And he is there because this is his thing. And the U.S. had the pommel horse on their last rotation, and he was the last guy to go. So he just spent the whole day just there cheering on his teammates, but basically just there waiting for his moment to go. And then it comes uh, up to the time, and and he's you know he's uh, he's got the glasses on. There were the there glasses. were people. I don't want to like make fun of his appearance, but there were people watching, enjoying the, you know this guy. Um, who looked like kind of a nerd, but in like a loving way, I think. Is that a nice way to put it? it people were like excited that like this was our guy. Like, let's send out the pommel horse guy in the glasses. Um, and there was like a funny screenshot going around where he was like resting with his head all the way back. It was just like a funny visual. Yeah. Um, and they were in a position where they were out of the medals. But if they had just an incredible pommel horse routine, he could vault them into the medals, no pun intended. Uh, and then he just unleashed this incredible routine. And you could see as he was doing it, you could just see as he, you know, he's doing, I don't know the terminology, but he's twisting, you know, his legs all the, all the way around to doing all things. And then he dismounts and he sticks it. And you can see how excited he's just amped up, ready to go like a full day of, of energy waiting for this moment. And his teammates were going nuts. And then they're all like hugging and yelling and waiting for the score to come in. And they screamed after it was over and they ended up sliding in and winning a bronze medal. And it was a very cool moment for this guy and for the whole team. And it was, it was an awesome highlight of the afternoon. So I think I was disappointed when, so they show him, you know, sitting around all day and then it's time to go up and he takes the glasses off. I wanted it to do the with the glasses or get like the the Horace Grant uh, Rex specs going on, but I thought you know like they were they were thick glasses. You could see they were very very thick, and when they you could see like how how magnified his eyes were when you when you looked at him. It seemed like he might benefit from having. I thought you know as an uninitiated viewer, I see him take him off and get up there. I'm like he might benefit from having those glasses. It seems like he has a pretty significant you know vision impairment. And then it goes no he 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 did he probably does it with his eyes closed. He just like no he's he's so good at it, he doesn't need any any extra help he also um, so, yeah. sorry to sorry to interrupt but part of the scene was also the so the pommel horse is like this wide thing i assume most people listening to this know yeah. what it looks like but it's got the two sort of handlebars on the top we're, we're butchering i don't know what anything's called um but he came out with the glasses on with it looked like a piece of wood that he was using to like measure and see the like check the distance between them and he was doing that with the glasses that just added to the whole scene <laughs> of like this guy because if you weren't watching, like there was a guy a couple of days ago where a swim cap fell in the pool and this guy with a dad bod came out to retrieve the cap. And so if you yep. didn't know he was a gymnast, you might think this was the guy in charge of calibrating the equipment <laughs> and not the guy who was about to go kick ass on the bubble horse. But he but he was. And so that was all part of the build up. <laughs> yeah, I, I loved they also like NBC had this countdown. They were like they had a countdown clock to the Steven Nederatsik uh, pommel horse routine and it was running all throughout the whole competition and I the only like they likened him to a field goal kicker they likened him to a closer I think he needed just some kind of like I've, obviously there's like other events going on and it's not like an American centric event but if they had like closers music for him like Mariana <laughs> Rivera with the Enter Sandman like that would have been that would have been the peak to just really take it to the next level um, I think you know he got a lot of attention obviously but there were some other I also was really impressed with uh, Frederick Richard and his his high bar routine. He had another great score uh, on that. He had a fourteen point eight three three. So for context, Nedarotsik's fantaculous, uh, fan <laughs> fantaculous. I made a word. Uh, fantastic Pavlov's routine that we talked about was fourteen point eight six six. So just a just a hair better than than Richard had. And that was at another stage of the competition where the after were talking about they really need a, a big score here from Richard, and and he stepped up. And at the same time. 
I know we're focusing on the U.S. here, but uh, Japan ended up winning gold in that event and sn- snatching it from China at the last moment. China uh, settled for silver. There was a they had a, a basically a substitute uh, gymnast, Su Wei Day, who uh, he had costly errors on the high bar and on the vault that basically proved to be the difference and, and got them the the silver. They seem to be pretty disappointed about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's a team that expected gold, and yes. they you know it's tough. Not just expecting it, but being in position and having yes. it slip through your fingers, literally, that's a, that's a tough way to go. Yeah. 